हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू दिस इज एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर एट ऑफ पाव प्लांट लैब द टाइटल ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू चेक हीट बैलेंस ऑफ फ्यूल इन द बॉयलर ऑफ स्टीम पावर प्लांट heat balance of fuel in the uh, boiler of steam power plant or a miniature steam power plant which we have in our lab objective of the experiment is to verify the heat balance of fuel in the boiler of steam power plant equipment is miniature steam power plant and the procedure of starting running shut down and safety is same like other experiments which we have discussed in previous experiments if we talk about the heat balance for 1 cubic meter of fuel so the energy supplied cv calorific value of 1 cubic meter of fuel is the energy which is represented by e cv this is the energy supplied by the fuel and the quantity of fuel is 1 cubic meter it is measured in kilojoule per cubic meter so this energy supplied to the boiler some of its part is converted to the energy to change water to steam and that energy is represented by est e with subscript st the energy supplied to the water to make steam est stands for energy for conversion to steam some energy is lost to surroundings and unburned fuel represented by el similarly energy carried away by flue gases there are two types of energy carried away by flue gases one is represented by edg energy to dry gases and this energy to moisture of combustion which is represented by e w g so we will find this energy and the energy lost to the surrounding also we will find the energy carried away by the flue gases and initially we have calculated this value which the fuel supplies to the boiler so we will check the energies supplied and the energy to which it converts and we will verify its summation for example this energy ecv will be equal to the energy supplied to the water to make steam plus energy lost plus the energy which is carried away by the flue gases suppose there that energy is eg so this relationship must be satisfied to verify conservation principle of energy related theory is as discussed ecv this is value of kilo measured in kilo joule per cubic meter and it is the energy supplied by a cubic meter of fuel and is obtained from the supplier's published data or is obtained from the results of a pump calorimeter experiment or may be calculated using the results of a chemical analysis of the fuel together 
with published calorific value data for the fuel elements. Similarly, EST is the energy to change the feed water into steam, is the enthalpy of the steam generated, lists the enthalpy of the feed water. The expression for the energy to convert water into steam is equal to m dot w into hs minus hfw where this enthalpy is measured in the units of kilojoule per kilogram. Similarly, the unit of mass flow rate of water is kilogram per second. So, this is the mass flow rate of the water and H is, is the enthalpy of enthalpy of steam where HFW is the enthalpy of the feed water. Similarly, EDG and EWG are the energies given to the flue gases is obtained from the gas flow rate. We must know about the gas flow rate in this case represented by M dot capital MG. The mean specific heat of the flue gases the mean temperature of the flue gases and the surrounding air. So it is calculated like this. This is the mass flow rate of the flue gases. This is the gas flow rate and Cp is the specific heat capacity and Tf1 is the temperature of the flue gases and Tat is the atmospheric temperature. And again it is measured in kilojoule per kilogram. This is the energy measured in kilogram. If we want to convert into kilojoule per minute or kilojoule per second, we can do that by multiplying the mass flow rate. So the final unit will be in kilojoule per minute or kilojoule per second or kilowatt. Any convenient unit we can use kilowatt or kilojoule per second. Here our calculations are mostly in kilojoule per minute. So we will use to represent all energies in kilojoule per minute. This is the energy last. So we have the energy supplied to the boiler from the fuel and this is the energy supplied to the water to make steam. This is the energy to the flue gases. So if we subtract this value, these values from the energy supply to the boiler from the fuel, to, so energy last will be calculated from this. So the unit again is kilojoule per kilogram, but if we have calculated these values in kilojoule per minute, so this value will be all also in kilojoule per minute. So the total energy input ECV is calculated like this. This is the mass flow rate of fuel and multiplied to its calorific value. So the total energy input is M dot F into CVF which is the mass flow rate of fuel and this is the specific heat of fuel. So mass flow rate of fuel is from this expression. This is not mass flow rate but volumetric flow rate. In this case the unit mentioned over here is cubic centimeter per minute. We can convert it into mass flow rate by multiplying the density. So let's for our convenience let's use that this is volumetric flow rate because we have mentioned that this is fuel flow rate. So let's suppose this is volumetric flow rate of the fuel for our convenience because if we use mass flow rate then we will multiply the respective density. So it will make the calculation a little bit difficult or complex. So to avoid from, uh, uh, complex calculations, 
this is considered that this is volumetric flow rate. So the volumetric flow rate is 1300 cubic centimeter per minute. So if we convert it into cubic meter per minute divided by 10 by 10 raised to power 6. So this will be the value of volumetric flow rate of fuel which is 1300 by 10 raised to power 6. And further if we put this in the expression. So this is the volumetric flow rate of the fuel and this is the calorific value of the fuel. In this case this is the calorific value of fuel used which is propane. We can make calculations for natural gas and we have respectively the value of calorific value from the literature calorific value for the natural gas is mentioned in the literature we can pick from there and can calculate the total energy input. So the total energy input based on these calculations comes out 121.09 kilojoule per minute. So this is the energy supplied from combustion of fuel 121.1 kilojoule per minute if we round off this digit so it will become 121.1 kilojoule per minute similarly energy gained by the fluid in which water converts to steam so this is the mass flow rate of the steam or water properly this is the mass flow rate of the steam and h is is the enthalpy of the steam and HFW is the enthalpy of the feed water. So first of all we will identify that what is the mass flow rate of the steam. For that the procedure is same like previously we have done this to calculate the mass flow rate of the steam. So for that we will measure some amount of mass from the beaker in a specified time from there we can find the value of mass flow rate of the steam which is 40 grams per minute in kg per minute it is 40 by 10 is power 3 kilogram per minute at this condition when the absolute pressure is 3.15 plus 1 and the temperature is 147 degree C of the steam produced so on these values if we check the values from the steam tables and using the expression which we have used in the previous experiment number 7. So from that we can find the value of HS which is 273.2739.72 kJ per kilogram and the value of HFW which is the feed water having temperature 26.25 degree centigrade it may vary with the environment and the absolute pressure for that is one bar so at these conditions we have the hfw value 110.15 so if we put the values of hfw and hs in this expression and the value of mass flow rate we get the value 105.8 kilojoule per minute so this is the energy gained by the water to convert to steam Similarly to find the energy to the flue gases for that we have some assumptions the boiler flue gas velocity is 0 0.4 meter per second boiler flue diameter is 30 millimeter and flue gas density uh, specific volume is 0 0.747 cubic meter per kilogram and if we want to find the density of this flue gas, so density is nothing but it is the reciprocal of the specific volume. So 1 over 0.747, we get the value 1.339 kilogram per cubic meter. So this will be the density of the flue gas. Now the, speci the specific heat of the flue gas is 1.05 kilojoule per kilogram per kilowatt and the exhaust gas temperature which is TGR TF1 
In previous expression, we have represented by TF1, but sometimes TG is also used, so there is no confusion in these notations. So TG is 305 degree centigrade. Now, using these assumptions, based on this, we have expression the energy to the flue gases is calculated from the mass flow rate of the flue gases which is capital M, M dot G. Cp is the specific heat and this is the flue gas temperature and this is the atmospheric temperature. So the value will be calculated in kilojoule per minute. First of all we find the mass flow rate of the flue gas. So so the value of uh, m dot g is calculated from the expression uh, rho a v. Uh, rho is the density of the flue gases as discussed. A is the area. This is the area pi by 4 b square. This is in millimeters so convert it to uh, meter. We will multiply it in this form minus 6. And this is the velocity of the flue gases which is 0.4. 0.4 meter per second. So to convert it into 0.4 meter per minute, we will multiply by 60. We will get the value uh, in meter per minute. So the final value of mass flow rate of the flue gases comes out 0 0.023 kilogram per minute. Now to find the energy to the flue gases, putting the values in this expression, m dot g is calculated. 0.023 the value of Cp is 1.05 as assumed and the value of the flue gas temperature flue gas temperature is 305 degree centigrade and this is the atmospheric temperature 23.75 degree centigrade so calculating and simplifying it for energy to flue gases it comes out 6.7 kilojoule per minute. Now the energy last will be calculated from the difference of these two ECV minus uh, EST is the energy to steam and energy to the flue gases. So when we simplify it we get the value for the energy to the surrounding which is which comes out 8.6 kilojoule per minute. So this is the overall picture of the experiment. So if we supply this amount of energy 121.1 kilojoule per minute, so it is distributed like this. Energy converted, which converts water into steam is 105.8 kilojoule per minute. Energy to exhaust our flue gases is 6.7 kilojoule per minute and energy to surrounding is 8.6 kilojoule per minute. The total energy is equal to 121.1 kilojoule per minute. If we sum up these three values, we get this value. So this is equal to the energy supplied, which is 121.1 kilojoule per minute. So the maximum energy is here energy to steam which is 87.4 percent, energy to exhaust our flue gases is 5.5 percent and energy to surroundings is 7.1 percent. So this if we sum up these three we get 100 percent value. So this is the overall calculations of the this experiment. Thanks for watching, please like and comment on my videos, also subscribe my channel to get new videos.